In Chinese cooking, we highly recommend a set of wok, but many of it just start cooking, so uh, therefore any of the skillet that you've got at home, which is like 12 to 14 inch in diameter, would be fine. But more importantly, you have to find a cover that is able to encapsulate the steam from your cooking, and we do that quite often in stir fry as well, and cover something like this. But remember that the cover should be at least one a half inch down from your uh, skillet. But if you decided to buy a wok like this, which also a 12 inch in diameter, and you need to heat it or to treat it before you able to use in Chinese cooking, especially is made of carbon steel. Of course, there are other uh, wok that are made with a Teflon or Kaflon or stainless steel. Those you do not need to season. But to season them properly, as uh, far as the look after you're done, that would be something of this nature, which is a bluish blackening color. Here's a 12 inch wok that already been treated, and we have the wok cover that complements this particular size. And wok cover, as you can see, it goes down at least about half an inch to an inch down so that it encapsulates the steam much better. And the other two that we have here is a spatula. And this spatula is designed so that it hugs the curvature of the wok and able to pick up the foo of this width so that you don't have to wind up doing it too many times, like so. And it's sometimes known as turner, by the way. And the other thing that we have here is a strainer that we could pick up our deep frying product or and when you make it broad, you pick up the uh, bone that is in the bottom here. And the other thing that complementary to this strainer is a cooking chopstick. This cooking chop can be stir as we deep fry or as we do in the broth. And then, and more importantly, it helps to push the product into the strainer. Therefore, you could grab it much better. Here's a 12-inch flat bottom wok. It's already treated. This is designed for an electric stove with a spiral element, so you don't really need the ring. On the other wok that I have in here is called the round bottom wok, and this is, of course, slightly bigger, 14-inch diameter. And for us to hold this wok sturdy, we need to have a ring like this. And, you, and let's put that underneath here. As you can see, it holds it, it doesn't tear tartar. But more important to remember that on this ring has another function, that is to hold the wok up so that we, the flame of the blue tip of your flame will be hitting the wok, and therefore give you a maximum or better heating source for Chinese cooking. I'm going to show you how to hold the cleaver properly and cut some of this product for the Chinese cooking. Some of the product that we're going to do is carrots, ginger, and garlic. I'm going to show you how to grip the cleaver properly so it could cut through properly for the Chinese cooking. First, hold the cleaver up like that, the thumb and the first finger in contact with the middle of the cleaver, and then the other finger wrap comfortably around the handle, and have the middle finger, which is this one here, just a little touch on the metal here, and this one you feel that you are holding the cleaver very sturdily. Here's what it looks on the other side. Okay. And the other finger, the other hand that you do not use the cleaver, you form what we call a dragon's claw or cat's claw, having all your fingertip toward this palm of your hand.